Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain you about FP growth algorithm in the subject of data mining. Actually, FP growth not only in data mining, we have in some other subjects as well. But now, uh, for now, I'm explaining in data mining subject point of view, okay? So, make sure that you watch the video till the end. I'll be explaining you FP growth algorithm with an example, the construction of FP growth tree, everything in the video. So, make sure that you watch the video till the end and let's get into the video now. First of all, what do you mean by FP growth? FP is nothing but frequent pattern, frequent pattern growth algorithm. Okay, it is an efficient and scalable method for mining the complete set of frequent patterns using a tree structure for storing the information about the frequent pattern, which is called as the FP tree, which means that it is an efficient and scalable method for mining the frequent patterns which are present the whatever frequent patterns are present in the data in order to mine those frequent patterns this fp growth will help you this fp growth algorithm will help you how this algorithm will work it will use a tree structure in form of a tree structure it will give you the frequent patterns got it so for storing the information about the frequent patterns right so this is about the fp growth now we have the uh, example in the example we have taken minimum support as 30 percent okay and we have the um, you know the example as this way, one eadb two this is that the we have eight transactions and we have items now what we have to do same like a priori algorithm only first we have to list out the individual items and for individual item we have to find out the frequency okay and then give the priorities how to give the priorities i'll tell you later first step is to list out the individual items so what are the individual items that you can get out of it a b and we have c yes c and d and e so these are the only individual items you don't have f and any other thing right so you have to first list out all those things a b c d e okay after you list out the individual items you need to calculate the frequency what is the frequency of a 1 2 3 4 5 frequency of a is 5 and what is the frequency of b 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay next frequency of frequency of b is 6 that is what we have written next frequency of c see 1 2 3 so frequency of c is 3 like that you have to write the frequency of all the five alphabets okay that is five data set uh, items in the item set after you write the frequency you have to give the priorities how you will give the priorities means which is having more frequency that has to be given more priority and if any two items are having same frequency which is first come first serve basis you have to give the priority okay so see here we what is the highest priority we have six so six is for two items right so that is why f first come first serve which is in the first b so b will be given one and next to two next five five is only uh, a alone has five so directly three directly four and directly five okay like that you will be giving the priorities as well okay so in the order of priority this is one two three four five that is b d a e c that is what i have written here b d a e c in the priorities uh, the priority uh, order you have to write it next step is you have to order the elements according to their priority which means actually in the question we have this right we have the transaction id and we have the items so what is our priority that we have got b d a e c so according to this order we need to reorder these items which are given in the question so according to the priority which comes first b so first is b next d d next a a next e e and we don't have c here right we can leave it and this also should be ordered in the same way according to this so for example you see this fourth one it has it is having b a d right so first b next a but what is there before a d is there do we have d here yes we have so b d a it becomes okay so like that you have to order everything in the priorities d will be d same d b among d and b which is coming first here b so b later d next we have a d e here among a d e which is coming first d so d next after d a e got it like that you have to order the items you have to reorder the items according to their priorities now the task is to construct the tree okay you have to construct the fp growth tree now 
okay so for that let us start constructing the tree initially you will take it as null okay initially the root node will be null okay next first what is the in the first transaction what is the first thing we are having b d a e right so b d a e like that you have to construct the tree okay b d a e correct mm. here also let us write b d a e i'll tell you why so 1 1 1 1 because once they have occurred all 1 1 like that after writing the occurrences go to the next one next sequence is what do you want you want b d a e c right so we have b d a e but we don't have c so write c got it now what are the occurrences 1 comma 2 because it is occurring for the second time in the second transaction it has occurred right again this also has occurred in the second transaction a also has occurred e also has occurred and c has occurred for only one time so we have written that done next is b a e c so for b here we have attach what do we have attached d but here we have a right so that is why we have to create a new node now a and uh, next e c right so for a we need to attach e and then we need to attach c got it now the new transaction will become so we have not started from the null right so we have started from b so for b it becomes comma 3 and next a we do have a here but this a but this a is this one which is attached to d so we don't update here we will again write a freshly write one and e fresh again one c fresh and what got it so now we are done with the b a e c as well next comes the b d a the fourth transaction is b d a we have b d a already so we need not write a new transaction we have to just update the occurrences so b what is the last number 3 right now it becomes 4 d a right so 3 and 3 got it next we have d so separately we don't have d for null we have only d right before d we don't have anything which means it is null okay that is you have to start the transaction from d from null so here d will come got it now for again you will write a new transaction here d is equal to 1 why you are not updating here this d is related to this one which is attached to the b not the root node right got it that is why you will not directly attach it now after that next transaction is bd so do we have bd yes we have bd bd got it so you have to just update the occurrences 5 4 next is dae do we have dae no for null we should have d because before d nothing is there okay this is there but ae a e we are newly attaching right so now what you have to write what is the here for this d we have written here d is equal to 1 One comma two because we are using it for the second time. Next, write a newly again and e newly again. Why newly? We are writing here. Here we have already written newly for one time, right? But this is for this transaction. Got it? For this transaction again, we have to write newly. So e is equal to one. You will get. Now we are done with d a e as well. The last is b c. So b root uh, for the null we have b attached. So here you can write c. Okay. so again you have to update the occurrences this b belongs to the first one right so again you got a new transaction from it since you have write it as 6 and c is a new one so c is equal to 1 you will write got it so this is how you construct the tree by using the transactions by using the transactions which are in the order first what you have to do you have to first list out the priorities then according to the priorities you have to rearrange the items given in the question and then construct the tree got it now why did we write this then this occurrence is why did we write i'll tell you this is to check whether you got the answer correctly or not how you will check see here how many times we have b only one time right only one time and how many occurrences six so now you have to check the frequency of six in the question okay see freak sorry frequency of b what is the frequency of b it is six 
got it so 6 6 same so the it is correct now let us check the same thing for d as well so for d 1 2 3 4 and anywhere else yes here again 5 6 and anywhere else no right so 6 let us check 6 is the priority of dr uh, frequency of dr not correct 6 next let us check for another one as well a for a we have 1 2 3 again 4 and 5 the frequency of a is 5 okay for next we have e and for e it is 1 2 and 3 and 4 here okay so here it is 4 like that you can check whether whatever you got is correct or not in that way you can check so this count has to match with the frequency given in the question okay this is about fp growth that's all i hope uh, you understood clearly what i explained i tried my level best to make it very clear to you so thanks for watching the video till the end and if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in this video let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure if i can and let me let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel